Hello everybody and welcome to Cooper Studios. Thank you for watching this Brick Filming Friday episode. Um, I'm Alex and behind me is a set that I'm working on for uh, animation that I've been wanting to finish and, and animate for a long time. It's the Batman Dark Knight Rises animation I've been talking about. Right now I want to show you how I'm about to animate a large number of police minifigures moving slowly down the street. Alright, so I've got the camera way over on that edge of the table and it's on a tripod so it'll be looking down this street so you've basically got a side shot um, perspective now to make all of these figures move um, very slowly with a walking animation would be incredibly cumbersome like it would be absolutely ridiculous to move every little foot just a little bit especially for it, it the shot only lasts three seconds right so i've just taken the very easy way out kind of uh and i'm basically going to do the waddle technique or just the shimmy technique if you want to call it that i'm just moving each individual figure ever so slightly like almost imperceptibly forward and this way it will look like the figures are moving absolutely but it's going to be so slow and so imperceptible that it'll look just like we want it to do we want to the effect I'm going for is a slow march and if you've seen the Batman Dark Knight Rises you know what I'm talking about they're marching towards the Bane's army and they're slowly moving forward. So this is an actual shot that you'll see in the animation. There's no real need for me to move their arms or anything else just because, man, shooting a shot like that would re probably require a few more animators instead of just me. And it's kind of difficult to tell or keep track of which ones I'm moving. So that's why I'm doing it so slightly. I think I've even moved this guy before, but whatever. That's why it's good that they're in a line. So each one, even though I'm not really keeping track of which way they ra they just turned, left or right, and um, at the it, in the end, the the effect is going to be short lived. I guess this is less of a lesson in walking animation, but it's more of a lesson in practicality. Like how I mean, this is a a lot of individual figures to animate. So in order to get an effect of all of them marching forward, it's probably just a good idea to just move them slowly forward like this. And since the camera, the main camera, is all the way on the other side of this shot up on a big tripod, it, it, it's not even really going to see the detail. And I'm all about detail, but th this would be an obscene level of detail to which I'm just not going to go through. So I've moved every figure, now I'm going to check the shot. And from the two frames that I just moved back and forth, it looked pretty good. And now I'm just going to repeat the process of moving them forward again. So I hope that shows you, this is just a little behind the scenes of one of my techniques. And I hope that um, the commenter is satisfied with knowing that I am working on animations. I'm going to repeat what I was saying, youtube.com slash coobers. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, all the good stuff. You guys are all adults, right? You can find me if you need to. Um, and I'd be happy to answer any questions if I can, if you leave them in the comments below. Thanks a bunch. Take care, everybody. Uh, Coobers Studios. <laughs>